Hello everybody, this is Digital Blackboard by Sachin P. Nagamote. In this video, we are going to solve a problem on series resonance circuit. Now, I already uploaded a video on resonance in series RLC circuit and the link of, for that video is given in the description. So, before solving the problem on series resonance, we must know the condition for resonance in series RLC circuit. And the condition is, at the time of resonance, the inductive reactance X will become equal to capacitive reactance. So, resonance for the resonance to be in the series RLC circuit, X will must be equal to Xc. Now, we know that total reactance in the series RLC circuit is given as X is equal to Xl minus Xc. But as Xl is equal to Xc, therefore Xl minus Xc will be equal to 0. And hence, the total reactance in the circuit is 0. Now, we have the formula for impedance. Impedance is the combination of resistance and reactance. So, if impedance is the combination of resistance and reactance and reactance is 0 at the time of resonance, so impedance will be equal to only resistor. So, at the time of resonance, the series RLC circuit becomes purely resistive. So, this is the condition that is series RLC circuit becomes purely resistive and that is why the impedance of the circuit during resonance is minimum. And as the impedance of the circuit during resonance is minimum, the current in the circuit is maximum. So, with this much of information, we can easily solve the problem of resonance in series RLC circuit. So, before solving the problem, we must know the formula. So we are having the formula that is voltage across resistor is given by I into R. Voltage across capacitor is I into Xc, where Xc is capacitive reactance. Voltage across inductor is I into Xl, where Xl is inductive reactance. And we know the formula for Xl and Xl, Xc. Xl is equal to 2 pi Fl and Xc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi Fc. So, we are having the list of formula available with us. So, let us start with the problem. Now, the problem statement is given as a series combination of R and C is connected in series with a variable pure inductor and put across the 200 volt 50 hertz supply. The maximum current obtainable is 0.314 ampere and the voltage across C is 300 volt. Find circuit constant. So, by after reading this statements clearly, we came to know that a series combination of R and C is connected in series with variable pure inductor. It means this is the problem of RLC series circuit. And the voltage is, supply voltage is given as 200 volt 50 hertz. Okay, the supply voltage is 200 volt and the frequencies of supply is 50 hertz. And the next information is, which is very important, the maximum current obtainable is 0.314 ampere. It means whatever current flowing through this circuit right now, it is maximum. And when maximum current flows in the RLC series circuit, the maximum current flows in the RLC series circuit when the impedance is minimum. And when the impedance is minimum, impedance is minimum when the reactance is zero. And when the reactance is zero, reactance is zero when Xl is equal to Xc. And when Xl become equal to Xc at the time of resonance. It means this problem belongs to resonance. Means resonance occurred in this circuit right now. And that's why the condition is for resonance. And by given this much of information, we have to find circuit constants. It means we have to find the value of R, L and C. And again, the voltage across capacitor is given as 300 volt. The voltage across capacitor is also given that is 300 volt. So, with this information, we will find out the value of three circuit constants that is R, that is resistor, L, that is inductor and C, that is capacitor. So, let us start with the solution. So, the first thing is clear. Maximum current is flowing in the circuit, therefore resonance occurs and at the time of resonance Z is equal to R. So, we can easily write down the formula for current I. I is equal to V by Z, but during resonance Z is equal to R, so I is equal to V by R. Now, simply from this we can get the formula for R, so R will be equal to V by I. Now, just putting the value V is equal to, that is supply voltage V is already given, that is 200 volt. So, 200 upon current, that is 0.314. So, we are getting the value here, 636.36. So, this is the value for resistor. So, we got the value of resistor, that is the first constant. Next, by using the information that the VC, that is voltage across capacitor is given as 300 volt. So, VC is equal to 300 volt given, but we know VC is equal to I into Xc. So, from this, we can get the formula for Xc, Xc is equal to Vc upon I. Now, just by putting the value, that is Xc is equal to 300 upon 0.314. So, we are getting the value of Xc here, that is 955.41 ohm. But we require the value of C, not Xc. So, from this, we know the formula for Xc. Xc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi Fc. So, by 
from this we can get the formula for c c is equal to 1 upon 2 pi f into xc so by putting the values here we are getting 1 upon 2 pi into 50 that is supply frequency is given into xc that is 955.41 we are getting the value for capacitor that is 3.33 microfarad so we got the second constant here that is the value of capacitor 3.33 microfarad then at the time of resonance we know that xl is equal to xc and we are already having the value for xc that is 955.41 so as xl is equal to xc therefore xl is equal to xc is equal to 955.41 so by using this information we know xl is equal to 2 pi fl and therefore l will be equal to xl upon l will be equal to xl upon 2 pi f so by putting the values of xl and 2 pi f we are getting the value for inductor that is l 3.04 henry so we have been given the information about this series rlc circuit and from this given information we got the values for three constant that is r a and c so we got the value for r is equal to 6 so 36.36 we got the value for C that is 3.33 microfarad and we got the value for L that is 3.04 Henry. So I hope you understood this problem clearly. So please like, share and subscribe Digital Blackboard. Thank you very much.